I'm Carol. So glad that you came back. Today, we're going to do a really fun and energetic exercise using the poles now that we know how to use them. And it's going to be a lot of fun. But of course, the first thing we have to do is take our vitals. Make sure you have everything that you need. You need your water to drink before, your blood pressure cuff if you have it, your pulse ox to check your oxygen saturation and your heart rate during the exercises. And then of course, something to write it down. So, so we have that log and we know what it is that we are expecting to see when we take our vitals, okay? okay so getting to know yourself and hopefully you've been doing a really good job with your water drinking. I've got mine right here. So first thing you do, try to drink as much as you can before we even get started, okay? You ready? Okay. And you know, people ask me all the time, well, if I drink a ton of water, I'll have to go to the bathroom and then I have to get up and I have to move. And it's true at the beginning that you're, it, it takes a little time for your kidneys to get used to it. But I'm also hoping that as you get stronger, it's easier to get up. It doesn't feel like a big deal. And you just jump up like little kids do when they're just running to the bathroom and then running back out again to play. So that's our goal. All right, so, so as always, first thing you always wanna make sure to do is have a way to call for help if needed. I think for today, I just wanted to show you guys this again, make sure that you remember that, you know, as long as you have something to hold on to currently while we're sitting here, just to let somebody know, hey, I'm not feeling good. I've got a little, I'm feeling a little dizzy. I need to, you know, go and lay down for a second or just for whatever reason, or you forgot your water. <laughs> Could you please come deliver me some water? Um, yeah, it's always a good thing. So let's do our blood pressure, grab your blood pressure cuff. And I brought my little one today. I like switching it up so that you can see what the differences are. I could use my, I could use the um, manual one, but it'd be a little awkward trying to get it on and off. All right. Oh, look at that. I made my first mistake where it's backwards. So the, um, so the, all the digits are going that way. And it sounds like it wouldn't be a big deal, but it is for a wrist one. And if you look at the angle here, that's why it's a big deal because it's squishing you and it's calculating that I've got more meat on this side and less on this side. So that's why you got to pay attention. Okay. So I'm going to replace it. Now it's going the right way. Okay. You can see, and look, you can see the little edge here, how it goes from little to big. And that's how you know it's on. Okay, tuck it in there. Hit the start button. So remember our wrist ones are the ones that are a bit more sensitive to error. If you don't have it level to the heart, I find my blue line and then it starts to squeeze. And you'll always know that it's a wonky reading if it's overly squeezing you. It's excessive. It's just like can't find your pulse and then just stop it and start it again. Ooh, mine is going to be high now because I'm talking. So I thought that was going to be one of those wonky reading ones because it went, it stopped and then it kept going a few more beats, but it's reading at 112 over 85. My heart rate's um, 92, probably from all that talking and that boo-boo I made earlier, <laughs> but it was a good boo-boo. See, it, it, it taught some, taught you guys what to look for. Okay, so what's the next thing? Write it down, write it down. We're gonna have the best information about you after this. They're all really useful. Okay, all socks. Okay. Check what our oxygen saturation is. Okay, one more time. Okay, good. Here we go. All right. Ready to get started? It's going to be a lot of fun. 
Oh, let's drink a little extra water, all that talking, right? All right. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure, let me just make sure that this is all working well. Okay, good, okay, here we go. So the first one we're gonna do is for shoulder flexion. So that's arms in front. So um, let's pretend that if you've ever played um, capture the flag or anything like that, what do you do when you win? You have to pull the flag out of the ground. Okay, so we're gonna take the poles, put them together and just use them to push left and right, left and right to make sure you get to the edge of the chair. All right, so the, always the first thing we do is positioning, making sure that we're in the right place. So that means that our bottoms are near the end of the chair, feet are flat on the ground, so you, have, so you can contact it, feel it, know where your body is in space. Your knees are right underneath your hips and you're sitting up nice and tall. So that, that vertebrae and that spine, they're all stacked on top of each other, all right? Hands in front like this. And let's do a deep breath. Inhale, hold it, and exhale. Okay, one more time. Inhale, hold it, and exhale. Oh, one of the things that I did wanna show you was that the, a few of the neck exercises, we'd started doing, you know, pivoting, looking over your shoulder, but I have a couple really fun ones that we can do first before we get started, okay? Because these are great if you're just sitting, watching TV in the car, or whatever. It's always good to do neck ones because your poor head weighs so much and it's sitting over top. And, you know, if you're on the computer and you're slouching forward like this or you sleep funny, necks are something that need work. So, one of my favorite exercises is imagining if somebody was dangling some smelly fish right in front of you or a, a dirty pair of socks. And what would you do? You would retract. You're like, ah, get away from me. Right? So you're going to pull that whole thing back. So you're not tilting downwards. Your whole neck is going, oh, that's awful. That's awful. Okay. So you would go forward. And this is where you do chicken neck. So you stick out your neck like a chicken. And you pull it in from that smelly fish and you pull it out like a chicken and you pull it and tuck it in really good. And you'll feel that stretch back there. It feels great. And straight out again. Okay, ready? Tuck it in, tuck it in, tuck it in, tuck it in. And out, let's do two more. Ready? Tuck it in and out, tuck it in and out. Okay, good. Let's do um, one where we go back and forth. So what you're doing is your head is going to tilt exactly straight. So your eyes are straight. Your nose is going to go like this. Your head, um, your ear is, is trying to touch your shoulder. So inhale, hold it, and exhale. When you do that, you're going to feel all the stretch in here. That Noggin weighs a lot. Inhale, hold it. And when you exhale, let it go. All right, good. Slowly bring it up. Okay, other side. Inhale. Okay, head is nice and straight. Exhale. Good, inhale. Hold it and exhale. Just really feel it in there. You can try, make sure you drop that shoulder. A lot of shoulder pain comes from these tight traps. So taking some time to really work on that stretch is really worth it. Okay, so we know the shoulder check one. So let's do that one. So you're gonna turn and look back, look back, inhale. Hold it and exhale. And you're gonna feel that right here. Okay, one more time. Inhale, hold it and exhale. 
again right there okay so slowly bring it back okay inhale we're going to the left exhale okay one more time inhale hold it and exhale very good okay all right so this time what we're going to do is we're going to tilt okay and then we're going to look <laughs> so you're going to tilt and then you're going to look behind you okay so we're co combining it a little bit so tilt and look behind you okay you're going to tilt look behind you okay one last one ready you're going to tilt and then look behind you. Okay, let's try the other side. So ready, same same thing. This is why I'm training you to do this. Okay, ready? So tilt, look behind. Okay, good. Tilt. Okay, so it's straight. Behind. Okay, ready? You're gonna tilt and look behind. Okay, good. All right, one last one. So sometimes in here that can get really tight. So what you're gonna do is take your hand and put your hand right here, right in your collarbone. So you're just trying to stabilize it, okay? So I want you to just lift up your chin a little bit and we're gonna, oh, we'll go the other way, hold on. So left hand, uh, left side, ready? Tilt up and then look back. You're gonna feel it right in here, okay? And back, okay? So hold it here. Lift your chin just a little bit and then shoulder check again. Good. So do this one slowly because anytime that you tilt your head backwards, you're going to have a little bit more of a vestibular component to that. And because we don't play anymore on swings and those crazy teacup thingies that go around and around and around, we get dizzy a little faster. So just be careful with that. Watch yourself, know what's normal for you. Um, you're going to try it again. So hold it here, lift up and look behind your shoulder. Good. Okay. One more time. Tilt that chin just a little bit up and then look. All right. Do one more. Ready up and tilt. Okay, good. All right. So hopefully that feels a little bit better. I feel like we need to do one of those lean forwards again. Okay, so let's lean forward and stretch. Remember, push down on those poles and then back again. So chest up, okay. Inhale and exhale. Okay, one more time, lean forward. Really stretch out that entire back all the way down to your spine and then pull up again. Oh, just up. Okay, good. Inhale and exhale. All right, let's get back to winning capture the flag. <laughs> so hands in front like this together and we're gonna raise them up and back down. And if you have shoulder issues, remember so you can start down here, you can just drop your poles if you want to and just come up to about here. So I'm holding them kind of underneath it so I can get the poles underneath the chair. You can just drop them. You don't have to use them. You know, we're just trying to do the best that we can where we're at. All right, so ready? And we're gonna pull up. Let's do 10 and up. Pull the victory flag out of the ground. One, ready? I won, I'm the winner. And three, <laughs> four, five, and make sure to dig in there when you get down there. Six, because they probably put it really tight inside the ground. So, and that remember that's where we're getting those tummy muscles. I don't have to do sit ups if I can keep all this contracted. Okay, ready? Push down with that side and up. It's five, push down. Remember my wiggly fingers? Up, six, push down, seven. Push down, eight, push down, nine, push down, and 10. Okay, good job, deep breath. 
Blow out the candles. Okay, good. Let's see if we can get those shoulder blades back and just in this position, almost like a row. So your hands are straight forward like this, wiggly fingers and pushing down and I pull back. Relax. Okay, ready? Let's see if we can do a couple of these. So it's always good to get just a little bit of motion in those shoulders, stretch out those pecs, keep the space between your humerus and that oh, in there. So, okay, I can't do two things at once. It's true. There's no multitasking available. <laughs> ready? Okay, pull back. Let's concentrate on squeezing back and down. Okay, ready? Four, five, six, good, ready, keep going, seven, eight, nine, and one more, and 10, awesome, good job, deep breath, hold it, and exhale. Okay, let's try um, abduction. This is shoulder abduction. So let's put them out here for a minute. And again, if it's too much out here, bring them right here, no big deal. Okay, let's try here. And my wiggly fingers, I'm gonna push down. I'm pushing down, I'm pushing down, I'm pushing down. I'm activating my arms and my shoulders. Don't, don't let them hike up like this, okay? I need the back muscles to do their job. Pull back and down, and then the arms push down. So everything is getting activated, okay? So now that those ones are awake, let's have some motion in there. So I don't know if they still make them or not. Maybe somebody can tell me, but uh, they, I, when I was a kid, I used to see commercials for Bowflex machines and you'd always see this really buff guy. And you'd only see the back of him and he's doing lat pull downs. So that's what we're gonna do in this. So we are the Bowflex, uh, models. We're going to sit up really nice and tall, edge of the chair, feet are flat on the floor, knees in front of the hips, lined up at the hips, chest, uh, shoulder blades back and down. Okay. So somebody's pulling you all the way up, bring your arms all the way up, really feel those tummy muscles. See if we can really reach up to the ceiling and then back down. So when we really stretch everything out, you really have to use your tummy muscles. Okay. Let's push down, push down, push down, push down, push down, ready up and down. Can we do that again? Ready, push down. Oh, so maybe five seconds and we'll go up again, okay? Ready, and down, push down, push down, push down. Really drop those shoulders again. If you happen to see yourself pulling up because your traps are stronger, just we have to get into a better habit. Ready, up and down. Okay, good, push, 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 push as hard as you can. I want you to feel the arms just burning and working on it, <laughs> working hard all the way up and back down. Push down, push down, push down, push down, push down. I promise we'll have a break after this. <laughs> Ready, up and back down, push down. Push, 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 push. Ready, up. And back down, squeeze, squeeze those shoulder blades back and down. Ready, up and back down. Push, 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 push. Ready, up and back down. Push, push, push. And one more, ready, up and back down. Okay, push down really hard. Let's do 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and 10. Oh, we made it. Deep breath. Hold it and exhale. One more time. Inhale. Hold it and exhale. Okay, water time. Remember that water is what's helping you recover faster. We'll drink our water first and then we'll take our pulse ox, okay? Let's see what my saturation is. All right, I'm at 98%. I'm 
My pulse is 85 and dropping with every breath. Oh, it's going up as soon as I talk. So let's do a deep breath. Hold it and exhale. All right, let's get back to work. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an elliptical machine. So those, those are those machines at the gym with the whole body and you're going forward and backwards. Okay, so I want you to dig them down into the ground, down into the floor, and you're going to, in a controlled way, push down and push all the way over, sit up with your chest up and back and push, 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 push and back. Good, okay. So let's try that again. Ready, sit up tall and over and back. Okay, let's, let's call that one and back. Now, if that's too hard, your arms are getting tired already, you can just go ahead and do the range. That's okay. But I want you to have options to make it harder if you feel particularly energetic that day. Okay, ready? And push. And nice and controlled, slow motion, especially when we're doing rotation. Our day-to-day -day lives don't do a ton of that anymore. So we want to give it time, all the muscles time to lengthen, get warmed up, get ready to work. Sit up nice and tall, really work on those tummy muscles, push down, reach and back, okay? And back, good, inhale and reach and back, okay? Inhale, reach and back. Good. So you'll notice what I do is if I really want to reach extra far, that's when I'm trying to, to time my exhale to be that. So I can inhale and exhale while I'm reaching. Okay. And one more. Inhale and reach. Oh, okay. So that was our little bit of a break in there. Okay. So what I want you to do is let's do a little bit of a, a faster one, just a bit more rhythm. That was like a nice, slow, controlled wake it up. So let's imagine we're just taking a little stroll down, down the neighborhood, checking things out. Okay, you're just kind of going in and out. Do you remember we talked about squeezing that shoulder blade back and down as the, first, the um, one in the front goes forward. So you're going forward, squeeze back forward, squeeze back, forward, squeeze back. Good. Forward, squeeze back. You got it. Ready? Forward, squeeze back, forward, squeeze back. Let's do one more there and one more there. Oh, okay. Good job. All right. Deep breath. Hold it and exhale. Okay, let's try to do, let's try to do a water pulse ox break every two. It's a great excuse. Okay, here we go. That's, that's good use of our break time. Okay, Whew. that was hard on me. I've got 92 as my pulse right now. Oh, there we go. It's just so amazing how quickly you can recover and it's so fun to watch it as it comes down. Okay, oh, sorry, wait a minute. We got a missed one, this is my favorite one. So if anybody remembers what it's like to have teenagers, what do they like to do? Spend Saturday and Sunday lounging on the couch and I don't feel like doing my laundry. And what happens on Monday morning? Looking for a clean shirt, <laughs> okay. So we are going to go through the dirty laundry basket and we're going to reach in there and I'm a little scared to smell this shirt, but we're going to just have to do it. Figure it out. Ready? Lift. Whew. Not that one. Not going to school. So I want you to go ahead and put your poles down. And when we do that, we're going to do a little um, push down. Okay. So we're going to get a little uh, motion right there. Okay. Let's try the other side. All right. So 
You're going to cautiously reach into the laundry basket, pull out the shirt up to your nose. Nope, not gonna be that one. And we're gonna place that shirt on this side and then we're gonna give it a push, okay? All right, okay, you ready? Now you know the motion. Lean forward into the laundry basket, pick up the shirt, not that one and put it down, push down, push down, push down. Okay, Let's come back to the middle, lean forward, grab the shirt, pick it up to your nose, not that one either, and we put it down. Okay, come back to the middle. All right, we're gonna lean forward, up to the nose, to the side, push down. Back in, lean forward, bring the shirt to your nose. No luck and push it down in there, good. Okay, back to the middle, lean forward, grab the shirt and put it down. Okay, just a few more in there, we better get lucky. Lean forward, pick up the shirt, bring it to your nose and put it down to the side and push down. All right, there's last shirt in there. Ready, lean forward, pick it up. Ah, decent, Bet it good enough for a Monday morning, right? So it looks like that's the winner and push down. <laughs> Total silliness. All right, inhale. Hold it and exhale. Okay, one more time, inhale, hold it and exhale. Okay, we are gonna try to work on our shoulders. So we're gonna do a train. So we're gonna be a choo-choo train. But we, so what that means is that we're lifting those poles up nice and high, as high as you can go. You're gonna reach way forward. So good range of motion, reach forward and backwards, forwards and backwards. And try and see if you can keep them off the ground. They will feel tired after a while for sure, okay? You ready? I can start counting now. One and two and three and four, reach way forward and five and six. Keep sit up nice and tall, seven and eight and nine and 10. Oh, that one is hard, but so good for you. Inhale, and look, remember when you inhale, you can push down on here, push down. Hold it and exhale. That really, if when you push down in there, it really allows those ribs to spread out, get higher, probably get a bigger breath than you normally would. Inhale, exhale. Okay. Pulse ups, water, quick check. Okay, looking good. Keep going, right? That's the process. Doesn't have to be a big deal. Okay. So remember they have a left and a right to make sure that the edge is on there. So I always make sure. Um, the next one we're gonna do is we're going to try on earrings because we're going to this really cool party tonight. And I really wanna make sure that I don't pick earrings that are a little too flashy for everything else. So we're gonna lean way forward. We're gonna pick up the earrings, look in the mirror, not for me. We want to put them back. And we got to grab another one. Ready? Pick it up and put them back. Good. Ready? Up and over. Ready? Up and down. No luck with the earrings. <laughs> Ready? Up and back down. Okay. Can we do five more? One. And two, and three, four, 
and five good did you remember to push down on there that's one of those things that you'll get better at remembering it'll become more automatic okay so we're going to come down we're going to just let's make sure that we're in the right position here so wiggle wiggle make sure your sit bones are right underneath you all right it's because this time we're going to pick up the grandchild okay so you're going to lean forward so your your poles are right next to you okay there and you're going downwards okay so you're going to lean forward and pick up the grandchild and go right and then back down so let's try to see if you can pick up those poles because it gives you a little extra weight so so you come down pick up the little guy and put him up and back down and pull him up and back down okay we're trying to work the back too good and back down pull up and back down ready up man i think my mouth will get too tired kissing this kid ready up back down but those are still muscles all those muscles around your mouth maybe i do need to work on them more back down and pull up back down pull up Ooh, this kissing machine is getting a little tired i think two more will do it and one more Woo. deep breath hold it and exhale when you push down push down when you're exhaling to help you empty your lungs okay i think i need a little water for that that's just a lot of kissing so good excuse i think i'm okay for the pulse socks for right now but if you need it go ahead and take it okay we are going to do um forward reach so we're going to be putting dishes away this time so you're going to reach forward actually wait a minute Let's do it like this. I don't want you to um, I want you to have a little bit of a different position here. We're going to put your poles a little closer to kind of lined up with your knees and you're going to reach forward and you're picking up the dish and you're going to put it into the cabinet and back down again. Okay, so ready and pick up the dish and put it into the cabinet and back down. Ready, and that's two, and back down. Ready, three, and back down. Good, let's do a push down there too. Ready, up, four, and back down. Push, 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 push. Ready, up, five, push down, push down, push down. Ready, up, six, push down. Ready, up seven and push down ready eight push down ready nine push down and one more ready up and down oh, okay let's hold that let's see if we can do a set of ten just for fun one two three four five six keep going seven eight nine ten awesome deep breath okay one more time okay we're going to take these uh poles we're going to try to lift them up and down so let's pretend like we're milking the cow so when i imagine milking the cow i think up down up down up down it's probably a pretty big cow if i'm right here but let's try it ready so hands up and up one two three four keep those arms really straight five six seven sit up nice and tall eight nine and ten. Oh, that one's hard deep breath Okay, grab some water. Let's take our pulse because we just did two sort of harder ones. Just make sure. 
hold it and exhale. Okay, inhale, hold it and exhale. Yep, data doesn't lie. I was definitely working a lot harder on that one. I'm in the 95 zone for my heart rate. I gotta do a couple more deep breaths to bring it back down into the 80s, which for me is normal when I'm exercising. But that's what you're looking for. You're looking for data to figure out what your normal is. All right. So we are going to wash windows this time. We're gonna do the karate kid. So the wax on. Wax off, wax on, wax off. You guys remember that? Okay, how about this side? Ready? Wax on, wax off, and wax on, wax off. Okay, so that's the motion we're doing. All right, let's try and go for it. Ready? Up, wax on, wax off wax on wax off that's one okay we can do this Come back in back in that's two wax out oh wait <laughs> this is hard to multitask let's focus on counting somebody one of somebody else can say that for me ready <laughs> ready out and in out and in. Okay, I think that's four. Ready, out and in. Ready, out and in. This time, let's try to really be deliberate. We'll make two seconds pauses while right here so we can push down and get that activated. Ready? So out and in. One, two. Out and in. One, two. Okay. Let's see if we can hold it the whole time. This left one is when the right one is moving, the left one is always pushing down. Okay, so ready? Out, keep that contraction, back down. Ooh, that is a lot harder, but that's great for your tummy. Okay, this side, push down, hold it there, hold it there, hold it there, and come back. Good, ready? And out, and in. Out, push down, push down, push down and in. Okay, ready? Push down, out, and in. Okay, push down, out, and in. Okay, one more on each side. You ready? Push down as hard as you can, and down. So push really hard with the right, and back in. Very good. Okay, deep breath. Hold it. And exhale, push down, push down, push down, push down. When you exhale, inhale, hold it, and exhale. Woo, awesome. Okay, arms out. So shoulder abduction, we're going to pretend like we're an airplane. So arms up like this. And if you're gonna go to one side, then you'd go to the other side. Okay, so all we're trying to do is keep our arms nice and straight and I'm trying to tilt it from one side to another, okay? So I'm get, using my tummy muscles, I'm using my arm muscles, all right? So in this one, they will be up, they're not gonna push down. So we're gonna try to keep them up there. Our, our shoulders will be nice and tired, and then we'll take our water break after, okay? Arms up and up. So I'll squeeze those um, abs, that's, two, it's good weight shifting practice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woohoo! Oh, that was hard, but that was great. Inhale. Push down, push down, and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, let's take some water. Okay. 
Okay, check her pulse. Okay. All right, so we're gonna try and hold on to these guys. I'm gonna lift them up, do a nice big range of motion. If that is hard after that one, you can plant them in front. And maybe that's what, what I'll do is I will demonstrate that because it's easy to understand just picking them up. But what we'll do is you're bringing it forward and we're gonna do the whole circle all the way around. So you're gonna go all the way out, all the way in. Now, don't forget we're pushing down. So those um, nubs at the bottom, see how big they are down there? Okay, we're gonna really use that grip, get them down there. Sometimes it's helpful to have them maybe about two inches apart, just so that they're not rubbing on each other. Cause as we are going in a circle, they're gonna want to kind of migrate and catch each other. So give them a little bit of space, you know, maybe half a foot, a few inches to a half a foot. Okay, so bring it close to you. And you're gonna come all the way out, reach all the way out there and come back in like this, okay? So let's pretend that we're at a dance and we're doing that fun stir the pot. There we go. We're embarrassing our kids, right? <laughs> yeah, we're cool, totally cool. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sit up nice and tall, and 10. So whenever you get to that, that position here, you always wanna pull it up again. Okay, so we're gonna go the other direction now. Ready, so push down. One, chest up. Two, you should be able to feel it in your lower back a little bit. Ready? Three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, and 10. Good job, deep breath. Hold it and exhale. All right, we're getting to the end here. Okay, so hands in front like this, and you're gonna keep those elbows to your side and you're gonna make this motion. Okay, so that's external rotation, working on you know, your rotator cuffs back there, but when we dig it in, we get a little bit more work and that's good. Okay, so we're gonna, we've gotta sit up really nice and tall though. So let's imagine um, that you have an old friend that friended you on Facebook, but you have no idea who it is. They said, hey, we went to high school together and you're digging through all the cupboards looking for that darn yearbook that who knows where it is. So we're reaching forward, opening the cabinet door, dig it in, dig it in, dig it in, squeeze those shoulder blades back and down, squeeze them, and then back in. So it's not that covered. So we're gonna open it up, squeeze. Good. Could take us forever to find a high school yearbook. <laughs> Ready, out, and back in. Good, remember, keep those elbows really tight to your body. That's what's gonna be the difference to do external rotation. Down and push down, push down, push down, push down, push down. Good, over and push down, nice and big. Bring that chest up, shoulder blades back and down. Okay, over, chest up. Okay, good. Well, let's do two more of those and we're gonna say forget it, we're not gonna find it, we're gonna have to just ask them. <laughs> All right, deep breath. Hold it and exhale. Okay, one more time. Hold it and exhale. All right. So one of my favorite shows when I was uh, in high school maybe, 
was friends and there's Joey Tribbiani and he used to love saying, hey, how you doing? So I imagine that when I'm doing this exercise that I'm picking up the poles and I'm turning them over here like this and I'm like, hey, how you doing? And when you're doing that, you're really working towards pulling that chest out because when you turn, it's gonna be really easy to do this. So that's where we have the poles to help us give us support until we're strong enough or loose enough to get there. So again, when you're talking about anything twisting, go to where you feel comfortable. Don't try to get out of it. Don't try to go too far just to do it. It's better to just go small amounts frequently, just progressive. You'll get there. You just listen to your body and find that limit. Okay, you ready? So we're going over and we push down. And we're up. So, hey, how you doing? Right? <laughs> Back down. Okay. Other side. Okay. And back in. Good. Okay. Ready? And push down. This is the kind of conversation I have when you're sitting on a couch, like three people on the couch, and you're trying to turn and have enough breathing space between you. <laughs> well, not turn during these days ready so you're going to push down and over push down again so the more pushing the better anywhere you can find it so the minute the, those poles are touching the ground you can give it a push you can hold there a little, little extra if you want to okay that's what's really great about these that you can just do whatever it is that you feel like or whatever level you feel like and over and push down ready up just keep making sure that you you stay nice and straight up there, okay? And use those stomach muscles to purposely bring you over. Don't just use momentum and throw them, okay? That control is really important. So ready? And up and over. Good. Up, push down and over. Good. Ready? Up, push down and over. Push down and over. And one last one on that side. Ready? Push down and over. Whew. Deep breath. All right. We just got a few more and then we'll be done. Quick check. Now I know what to look for. All right, I'm looking good. All right, let's do a little wiggles up here because we did so much of that moving in there. So I loved just learning to weight shift left, right, left, right. It helps so much. It'll help so much with when you need to do transfers, going sit to stand, getting in another car, moving in and out of a transfer bench. There's so many times when you need to be able to shift all your weight onto one side in order to release the, uh, the leg or, or whatever, the butt cheeks, so we can move. Okay, you ready? So what we're gonna do right now is pretend like we have to start a lawnmower. So we're gonna have this hand is going to be our stabilization hand. That's the one we're gonna be trying to push down continuously if we can, because we need to take this hand, reach down, grab that starter. Okay, this is what's giving me stability, look. So, and I'm gonna pull it up there and see if I can get it, that lawn motor start, okay? So we're not gonna switch for this one. It's much easier to just stick with one, one side at a time, ready? And you're gonna pull back, pull it back by your ear, one. And up by your ear, two, push down on the side, three, four, oh, come on, five, six, and we're controlling the motion all the way down, seven, ready, up, eight, Ready up, nine, and ready up, and 10. Look at all that stretching I'm getting in here. Okay, ready for the next side? Okay, push down. Okay, get that right arm down. 
Got my fingers wiggling here, I'm pushing down in here. Okay, this hand is coming down to go get the lawnmower. Starter, ready? And we pull back up to our ears. That's one, ready, up, two, ready, up, three. And I can definitely notice I'm much weaker because my left arm is not my dominant. Five, and six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Very good, deep breath. Let's do, let's do push it down. Okay, let's go. Hold it and exhale. Okay, ready? One more time, inhale, hold it and exhale. Very, very good. Okay, let's do a little bit of a forward and backward. So we did it up and down tilt like this and it's always good. You do that pelvic tilt, um, stretch out that lower back and pull it back forward. Good, and cave it in and forward. Okay, so just roll it in there. Get lots of mobility in there. Weight shifting forward and backwards, left and right. Get every motion in there. So important. All right, we've got two more. We'll be all done, okay? Okay, so we're going to be Katniss in Hunger Games. So she's the girl who uses the bow. Okay, so that means we're gonna be lifting this one. So holding the weight of that one. And this one's gonna be by our ear. So this is definitely going to be a challenge, but we can totally do this because we only have two left, we're almost done. All right, made it. So hands in front and pull that bow back. Okay, that's one. Let's do the same side again, ready? Two, I'd love to see a flick. That's a really good thing to work on to have those small motions move, small muscles moving while the big muscles are moving, it's coordination. We're just getting, growing brain cells and getting better at this, ready? Boom, three, ready, up, four. Push down, how about that? Push down, push down, five. Give it a good push. Six. Good. Push down. Seven. Push down. Eight. Push down. Nine. Push down. And one more. Ten. We did it. Okay. Whatever you do on one side, go do on the other side. So let's get ready. Reposition yourself if you need to. Hands in front, we're gonna lift up, reach back. Oh yeah, it's totally gonna be awkward, right? Left-handed, one, ready? So just go slow if it feels weird. You wanna find the recruitment, the right recruitment of the muscles, ready? And hold it there, hold it there, hold it there, hold it there, Do. Okay, so adjust if you need to, squeeze those shoulder blades back and down, okay? And Three, push down, push down. Four, push down. Five, push down, ready up. Six, push down. Seven, push down. Eight, push down. Nine, Push down and one more, ready? Woo, deep breath. All right, one last one, one last one. So uh, COVID started, what, a year and a half ago or something, maybe a little bit more than that. But um, what I was imagining was with this motion that you are leaning forward and ha, ah, so great to see you, okay? So we're gonna lean forward. It's an opportunity for us to push down and stretch out the lower back and say, oh, it's so great to see you again. Ready, lean forward and so great to see you again. And I love that we're gonna try and see if we can 
alternate with our neck. Just see if we can bring our neck into this a little bit. Okay, ready? So lean forward, neck tilt to the right. Oh, so great. One, and two, and three. Reach back, reach back, reach back. And four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, nine, and one more, ready? 10, we did it! <laughs> I am so happy we made it to the end. that I think we should celebrate by drinking the rest of the water. But it's definitely time for us to take our vitals now that we're done so we can find out what we're at. Ooh, 102, I am working hard. Okay, so let's get out that blood pressure cuff, get out the log, write down all this information. Blood pressure cuff. Okay, this time I'm going to make sure I put it on the right way. So it's got to be facing me so that the angle is right. Okay. And I'm using my left one. I feel like that that is better because your heart's on your left side. But sometimes if you've had surgery on that side, they tell you you can't do your blood pressure on that side. You could do it a little on the other side. Okay, I got my blue light. It's definitely pumping me up there. Ooh. So it's 125 over 94. So my bottom number is a little on the high side. Um, and then my pulse is 81. So it's just something more information. And I, you know, if I saw a number at the bottom that was higher than 90, I might go and check it with another cuff. So it's the reason why I think it's really nice to have two versions, just, you know, trust, but verify, check and make sure, see if, see if it is, um, just maybe mechanical error, or maybe sometimes the batteries need uh, charging up. So, all right, a little bit more water. And now you have the rest of the day to do whatever you want. And you have been, you've been, you've accomplished what you needed to do today. Congratulations. And we'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye.